Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For this Sunday's tutorial, I am doing a sexy, bronzy, sultry, smoky eye inspired by this makeup that I saw on Shay Mitchell. She looks stunning in this makeup, plus so many of you guys sent me this picture asking me to recreate it, so I definitely wanted to do it for you. All right guys, let's get started. So I'm starting with this primer from Laura Geller. This is the Spackle Mattifying Oil Control Under Makeup Primer. I've been using this primer nonstop for the last little while because it works so well under makeup. So if you're like me and you love using a primer before applying foundation this is one I definitely recommend because it just does a great job so since this is going to be a pretty intense eye look I'm gonna do foundation and then go straight into the eyes I'm not gonna do concealer or powder or anything like that first I'm gonna do it after I finish the eye makeup. But to start, I'm using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. You guys know I love this foundation. I've been using it forever, I feel like. This is definitely one of my go-to everyday foundations. I wear it all the time. It feels amazing on. It doesn't feel heavy. It has this really nice, somewhere in between of a matte and a dewy finish, which I think that's such a pretty natural finish for an everyday foundation and the coverage is pretty long wear sometimes you know foundation just kind of disappear halfway through the day this one doesn't do that I'm starting with the NARS tinted smudge proof eyeshadow base in the color dark so I really wanted to do a colored eyeshadow base because we are doing this more of an intense smoky eye so using a base that has color is going to make all of the eyeshadow you apply stand out so much more and it'll kind of make your life a little bit easier. <laughs> you won't have to work as hard to get like really pigmented shadow. So this step makes a huge difference. These tinted eyeshadow bases from NARS are some of my favorites because the tints are really nice. These are actually meant just for different skin tones, but I love using the darker tones on me because it totally works for this purpose. And then usually if I'm doing like a lighter shadow, I'll use the lighter shades. So this look is a true smoky eye. So all the colors that we're doing on our top lid, we're gonna be wrapping it all the way around the eye, taking it along the lower lash line as well. So I'm going to use that same base that we used to apply just a few dots on the lower lash line and blend it out because we are applying eyeshadow there. So we wanna make sure that it sticks and doesn't crease and this base will definitely help with that. So when I saw this picture of Shay's makeup, I fell in love with it and so many of you guys actually sent it to me on my Instagram to recreate it. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's at Iman. It's one of the best ways to send me makeup looks if you guys want me to recreate the look. After seeing that picture, I knew which palette I wanted to use. This palette from Charlotte Tilbury. It is the Dolce Vita Luxury Palette. This has these beautiful warm brown shades which are so similar to what Shay is wearing. And you guys know that I usually try to only use one eyeshadow palette for a look because I think it makes it so much easier. But unfortunately, that palette doesn't have any matte shadows. So I have to use another one as well. So I will also be using the Natasha Denona Safari palette. This is all matte shadows. So this is gonna have a lot of options for us to play with. I'm starting with this shade right here. This is called Thorn. This is a nice warm brown. Any warm brown will work for this. Of course, you don't have to use this palette. Warm brown is a very generic eyeshadow color. So I'm sure you guys will have a warm brown in your makeup somewhere. So what I mean by warm brown is that this has more of a red orange think the colors of the sun more warmer undertones whereas sometimes browns can have more of a cool undertone so it has more gray in it so brown can be either warm with reds or cool with more grays this is definitely more of a warm brown. And this is what's really gonna help us kind of make the colors of our eye stand out. No matter what your eye color shade is, this warm brown color will work on every eye color. It's just one of those colors that looks good on everybody. 
So I'm mainly taking this color in my crease. I'm using a nice big fluffy blending brush. This one, you guys, this is my old school mint brushes number 20. If you know which brush that is, or if you have this brush, let me know in the comments. I have so many of them and it's definitely one of my favorite brushes. I use it all the time. I'm sorry that you guys can't get it anymore. <laughs> I feel terrible. So another thing I like to do is when I'm doing a smoky eye like this is I like having a second brush on hand for cleanup. So as I'm applying the shadow, I go in with the clean brush that doesn't have any product on it at all. And I just gently blend out the edges. I'm taking that same color and applying it on my lid as well and then blending it all in up to my crease and blending it out. So I have this one color which is pretty much a base all over our lid. If you ever feel like you have too much product on your brush, don't be afraid to just take a tissue paper, take some of that product off. So then you can go in and just gently blend everything without necessarily adding product. And then of course, you have your clean brush on hand that will just help blend out all of these edges. Love that. This is a very pretty brown shadow. I think you guys remember the last time I used Natasha Denona. It did not work out very well. <laughs> so I'm glad that these shadows so far are looking beautiful. So everything we're doing on the top lash line, we're gonna mirror that along the lower lash line. Normally I would switch brushes to something smaller, but since this look that Shay's wearing is really intense on the lower lash line, I'm gonna use the same brush, something a little bit bigger. It's gonna make the shadow stand out a lot more. I'm still using that same color Thorn from Natasha Denona and I'm sweeping that along my lower lash line. So don't worry if you get a little bit of fallout. These shadows don't really have any fallout, which is awesome, but you guys could see that just because the brush is a little bit bigger, there is shadow that's just going in that inner corner, which we don't want, but you could just very easily clean that up with a Q-tip. So I'm not too concerned about that. And we're still gonna do concealer and everything. So this is a very easy cleanup. One little trick I will give you guys, if you hold the brush a little bit more straight on, so horizontal, then you're not gonna get as much shadow going everywhere. It's gonna be a lot more targeted just along the lower lash line. I think this is sometimes where people get a little bit scared because they feel like they have raccoon eyes. Don't be scared, just use a Q-tip. It's that simple <laughs> and just sweep it all away. And then even just take your beauty blender. Like literally this will clean up in seconds. All right, let's get into this Charlotte Tilbury palette. So I am taking this first color right here, which I believe is called Enhance. It is this beautiful ready brown. It's the same tone as the shadow we have all over, but this has more of a shimmer to it. And this will definitely even make your eyes stand out even more. I'm packing this color all over my lid, not going past my crease focusing more on the center of my lid and the inner corner. Again, if you guys have any fallout, don't worry, we'll deal with it after. But so far these eyeshadows have been pretty good. I'm not getting a ton of fallout. I'm gonna sweep a bit of that color along my lower lash line to mirror what we did on top. Next, I'm taking the slightly darker shadow from the palette, and I'm gonna add a little bit to the outer corner. This is gonna blend in beautifully with all of the other eyeshadows. This is just gonna give a little bit of depth to the look. So it's not just one shade all over. We're gonna have a little bit of dimension with the different tones. And one more time, we're taking that darker brown, applying a little bit to the lower lash line just along the outer corner. Next, I'm taking this gorgeous gold from the palette. This is called Pop. So this shadow is a lot chunkier. It has like little kind of chunks of sparkle in it. So for shadows like that, I like using synthetic haired brush rather than natural hair because synthetic hair will pick up the product a lot better. Also, I like to wet the brush. So I'm taking Fix Plus, spraying the tip of the brush. Probably gonna take this about halfway in. Let's see how, how far we wanna go. Yeah, I think that's about right. Probably don't wanna take it in much farther than that, but I love this. It looks so pretty, you guys. <laughs> love, love, love that. This is so beautiful. I'm gonna take my finger and dip it into that shadow and just pop a little bit just in the center of the lid. This isn't gonna do a ton because, again, picking it up with your finger is not going to pick up a lot of product. This is gonna be very subtle. 
but it will add a little something. I'm taking the last shadow from the palette, this beautiful champagne shimmer tone, and I'm using this bright in the inner corner for a pop of highlight. And I kind of like to swirl my brush in circular motions and then just flick it up so that highlight blends in with the other shadows. For my waterline, I'm using this Coal Eyeliner from Neutrogena. This is in the shade Dark Brown. So I recently posted a makeup tutorial on my Instagram where I used a bunch of Neutrogena products, including this liner, and I put these aside because I really wanted to show them to you guys. All of their liners are amazing. So I used their Coal Liners, and I also used their Gel Liners. They're so good. A drugstore product, super affordable, and they work better than high-end expensive products. So if you are at the drugstore next time, definitely grab a bunch of these Neutrogena liners because they work really, really well. The coal ones are probably my favorite, but I actually really like all of them, to be honest. <laughs> I think it's just a lot harder to find really good coal pencils to find ones that just kind of glide on really creamy it's not always very easy and this one is super creamy so i love this color this is dark brown number 30 this looks so good on with so many different eye looks but the black one is a must as well so the last step for the eyes i'm throwing on lashes the ones that i'm using today are from huda beauty these are the jacqueline number 20 lashes i've actually been using a lot of huda beauty products recently i'm really loving their new I can't even remember what they're called, but they have, oh wait, I have it here. <laughs> a lot, these are their liquid matte lipsticks, plus they also have their glossy ones. They're so nice. Maybe I might actually use it today. Their lashes are beautiful, their eyeshadows, their palettes are beautiful. So I've been using a lot more of their products and actually they had their first ever event in LA last week. And Huda was in there, unfortunately, but her sister Mono was there and they live in Dubai. So they she came from Dubai and it was the first time I met her and she's super nice. And it was just really cool to learn more about the brand. So I'm adding a ton of mascara to my top and lower lash line. Since there's like so much shadow, you want to make sure you apply mascara so it makes your lashes look black. These lashes are so pretty. They have a really beautiful shape to them and they're just the right amount of thickness. So when you put them on, you can still see all of the beautiful shadow underneath. It's not too thick and it doesn't take away from your eyeshadow. If you have fallout, this is now the time where you can go in and clean it up because we are totally done with our eyes. So I'm just taking a little bit of a makeup wipe. I don't have a ton of fallout, but I'm just cleaning up anything I have underneath there and then just going back with a little bit a foundation, just slightly touching that up. And now we're gonna finish up the rest of our face. For concealer, I'm using one of my favorite full coverage concealers. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And the shade that I wear is Golden Beige. I love this concealer because it is a true full cover concealer. It's gonna cover up everything, but it's still super creamy and just blends beautifully into the skin. So you're not gonna get any creasing or any dryness but you're gonna get a ton of coverage. Since we have a lot of shadow on our lower lash line, I usually apply the concealer lower because once you start blending it out, it just naturally kind of moves upwards. So you wanna apply it a little bit lower so it doesn't take away from all those beautiful shadows that we applied. Also, I should mention that my beauty blender is wet, so that's why everything just blends out so beautifully. I applied a cream contour and now I am applying a powder contour using this palette from Dior. This is the Dior Backstage Contour Palette. It has two highlighter colors and two contour colors, light and deep. I like to mix both the light and deep to kind of get that perfect shade. The light really helps to hollow out my cheekbones and then the deep gives that nice warm bronzy color. So Shay's look is very monochromatic. So she has these bronzy tones on her eyes. She also has a lot of bronze on her cheeks 
cheeks and her lips. So I'm taking that really warm brown from the palette and kind of using that as my cheek color, my bronzer color. It's gonna give a little color to the cheeks without having to add like a bright blush because I don't think that is gonna go nearly as well. I feel like to get that super monochromatic look, you wanna stick with more brown tones than peachy blush tones. For the lips, I'm starting off with a lip liner. This is a classic from MAC. It is MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil. This is one of those colors that literally every makeup artist has in her makeup kit. It's been around forever. It's just a universal brown, so it kind of works on all skin tones. I'm just gonna use this to line my lips and fill in a little bit, but keeping the center bare. On top of that, I am applying the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in the shade 64 Unreal. I'm sticking with all brown tones for this lip look so it matches the rest of the makeup and it's gonna give us that really monochromatic vibe. And this lacquer is perfect because it's kind of like liquid lipstick, but it's glossy and that's what Shea has. So Shea has a nice glossy finish. So this color is perfect. Thank you so much for watching guys. This is the final look for this Shea Mitchell inspired makeup. I hope you guys love how it turned out. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. We are so close to a million subscribers. <laughs> I feel like I've been saying that for a long time, but we're slowly but surely getting there. So if you love my channel, if you have been a subscriber for a while, share it with your friends. Get more people over here so we can get to that million and then hopefully celebrate. <laughs> and also, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you head over there. I'm gonna have a link for you guys in the description box my instagram is at iman follow me there because i also post short makeup tutorials on instagram that are kind of just like one minute tutorials all this month i've been doing huge giveaways of some of my favorite makeup products so head over to at iman on instagram you can add me there as well and that's it i will see you guys next sunday for a brand new tutorial